For advanced Facebook and Instagram ad users looking to maximize their sales for clothing stores, right? This video is for you. I'm gonna be teaching you inside of Ads Manager how to set up your ads to generate sales fast. Stay till the end for the details. All right, so number four is to put in the work. This isn't a video to sugarcoat anything. I tell people all the time during our strategy calls that this takes actual work to be successful, especially right now. This work I'm talking about is the research. It's not just designing a shirt or going to market you to your clothes to get like, hey, go buy these clothes. It's solving a problem in the marketplace and letting people know that you have a solution. These are the steps that you need to take to get the research done correctly. Pull out a Google Doc or a piece of paper, right? Whatever it is, pick the top three competitors that you have, review their Facebook and Instagram, TikTok as well. What are their top three pieces of content from each of these platforms? Write down what made them work in your opinion, right? You don't know everything, but write down in your opinion what you believe made them work. Sign up for their competitors, right? For your competitors' emails and SMS. Review their Facebook ads, go through the Facebook ad library, go to the bottom of the library and look at the content that has been running the longest. Make note of the type of content, copy and like how it was written and the destination. So whenever they clicked, where did they go? What part of the website? Was it a collection page? Was it a product page? Where did they go on that ad? Once you've done this, make a list of the type of content you're going to create for your brand. Remember the three I's, right? These are very important. Imitate, iterate, and then innovate. At first, you're gonna look very similar to those competitors with your own twist. Do not copy them though, right? There's a difference. Model, there is a difference. Number three, <laughs> determine what success looks like. Determine what success is, right? We need to determine what is winning for you. What is the cost per acquisition that you're shooting for in your brand to be profitable with your campaigns? All of these general videos, right, uh, that people talk about, and this is, this is another one of those videos, right, where we go into generalities, right? So your brand is specific, what is winning for you? If you don't know this number, I would highly suggest that be your first focus because running ads without a goal, that's dangerous, very dangerous. Facebook cannot differentiate between a new customer or an existing customer, so you need to take that cost per acquisition with a grain of salt and really have your numbers dialed in, numbers that really matter, a few numbers to help you determine your cost per acquisition. COGS, right, your cost of goods. Number two, taxes. How much should you be putting across or saving across for taxes? Not your shipping that a customer may pay, not your taxes that are your sales tax that are gonna be passed through, your actual taxes on your goods for your business. Everything taxes wise, if you can. As a general rule of thumb, I try to say like, hey, 20, 30% will go to taxes. That will get you in a nice safe spot. LTV, 90 days. In 90 days, how much is that customer worth to you? If you know those numbers, you can make smart decisions when it comes to acquiring your customers. Something else to help you actually track your data and mitigate all of the post iOS tracking issues, check out Triple L, we're big fans of them. Check out the description uh, for more information about them and how they can help your business. For example, if you know that you can break even on a $30 Facebook purchase, but in 30 to 60 days, a customer buys a second time, you can afford to spend more to acquire the customer because you'll know when you're gonna be profitable. To be clear, Facebook is only going to magnify. Let me say that again. Facebook is only going to magnify what is already working. I'll explain later in the video when we jump into Ads Manager how to build these ads, what I mean with that, but that's a little bit later on. Uh, before we jump into these ads, I just wanted to say howdy. I'm Aaron, I'm one of the co-founders here at Bit Branding, and we are an e-commerce growth agency that specializes in helping clothing stores grow and scale profitably online. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, we put out new content for you every single week. All right, so number two is to choose a variety of creative. We want to get Facebook as many types of creative as possible so that we can test what works. Now, when I say as many as possible, right, we want the right amount of combinations. There's, sometimes there is too many, but most of the time people are working too little. This whole process is about finding what works and then continuing to iterate on that, just like we mentioned earlier with the three eyes. It's about finding a winning ad and then scaling it. I'm gonna be showing you exactly how to do this inside of Ads Manager next, but before we build any ads, we must have a variety of creative selected. Now, what I suggest right now is a graphic, one UGC or a TikTok style of video, 
a collection video where it's really showcasing the products really quickly. You start to see the products move very quickly. I'll hopefully have some of these things uh, as examples in the videos. Another one, product photo on a clean background. Usually it's a white background, but some kind of clean branded background, white background will do really well. Test that as well. The other things that you want, two headlines, two primary texts. So you're taking the best pieces of creative, best headlines, best primary text, and then putting those all together, right? When we set up our Facebook ads, right? What Facebook will do is grab the best combination of all of these creative and put that into one super ad. And then we'll look at what elements have done the best, extract the winners, scale. All right, before we jump into Ads Manager and I show you exactly how to make this happen and exactly how to scale those, I wanna share with you the secrets to growing a successful clothing store with a free training. Learn the five crucial pillars step-by-step. Step. This is the exact strategy we've used to help brands reach million dollar months. Get access in the link in the description down below. All right, so number one, the setup. The place that you've probably waited this whole video to see. I'm gonna jump in, we're gonna share a screen, I'm gonna show you exactly what to do step-by-step step on how to build this. Okay, so we are inside of Ads Manager. What I'm gonna show you first is what does the setup look like? So we're gonna go step-by-step step into creating the actual ad go ahead and hit the create button. We're going for sales always. I would say always, 99% of the time we're going for sales. You can do the advanced shopping campaign. I've seen some success with this, but to give you a little bit more control, I'm gonna go the manual route. If you do not want to have more control, you can go over the Advantage Plus. I've seen a lot of success with that as well. And then I think if Facebook gives you a, a couple of options, you can just only use that other option. All right, so new sales campaign. We're gonna say this is our new uh, spring collection. Scrolling through, Advantage Plus uh, campaign budget, turn that on. I like to spend $100 today. If you can't do that, do a budget that's sensible for you that you can spend for 30 days and not care about a dollar that you get back. Facebook is only gonna magnify what works if you don't have the money to make it work, then don't jump into Facebook ads. But you're watching this advanced strategy, so my guess is you have a couple of dollars to spend here. $100 a day, minimal I like to test with. You can see here, there's a couple of options here. We don't really need to worry about that. Ad set, we're always gonna go broad. There's a couple of exceptions to this, but for the most part, we're gonna go broad because we are not interested in giving Facebook less data, we wanna give them more. Dynamic creative, this is where the magic happens. This is what allows us to put in multiple pieces of creative and let Facebook choose that option. Age, gender, location is what really matters. So we know that for this store anyway, it's 21 to 64. That's just what we know about this. We also know that they are female, so we're gonna choose women. And then languages, we'll do all languages. Manual placements, as an option, we used to highly suggest it. That is something we've updated recently. Just let Facebook do its thing. Uh, because what we actually saw was that uh, when they chose between them, they did a placement that did really well and, and the other placement didn't did not. So if I would have mainly chosen it, it probably wouldn't have uh, reached as many people. So anyway, advantage plus placements, everything else should stay the same. All right, let's go ahead and go to the ad level. So again, this could be our new spring collection. Make sure you choose your Instagram images here. Remember, we like to have a product photo. Some of these I'm going to go through and I'm gonna tell you what they are and they're not really going to be those things, but just roll with me here. So this is a product background, so that's the one that we want. This is a graphic that we have. All right, so we got those two right now. Let's go, I'm gonna add two more, select some videos. Let's look at this business account, okay. Consider this like a lifestyle photo, it's at market. And then what I really want is a TikTok style video. All right, so what's going on right here? We have a, let's just call this a product photo. It's clear background. Um, I'd like to see it on a white background if possible. A graphic, a lifestyle photo, a TikTok video. Um, I would love to see a collection video in place of this lifestyle photo instead, but they do not have that prefer to have the videos, make sure the ad preview is on. All right, two headlines, two primary text. We're just gonna throw here. I'm gonna grab some go-to ones. Okay, so what we have here, two headlines, two primary descriptions. I would also make sure to take out the quotes if there's anything like that. Uh, but also add some emojis if that's more of your brand style. Add those inside of here. Make sure to put the website URL. This is our spring collection. So make sure that it's the spring URL that you send people to as well. If you need to, you can adjust images. For example, this media right here. This is the original, it's kind of cutting off a little bit on square, so you can slide up horizontal, it's squat. There we go. So now it looks a little bit better there. Go ahead and optimize creative for each person. The headlines we have there, website is good. Make sure if you have a website event, it's turned on. App events are turned on as well. There we go. 
If you have something like uh, triple well that I mentioned earlier, go ahead and put your parameters in there and the view tags and you are ready to go. So that's step number one, set everything up. Step number two, let's go find the winning ad and then let's scale it. Okay, so we're inside of here for the broad jeans. I do see that we only have a couple purchases here, but let's go and break them down. Two of the purchases happened right here. I'd like to see a little bit more than just two purchases. Three, four, five kind of has a, a trend here, but it's $21 purchases, well below our $25 targeted cost per acquisition. This is the image that did well. So I tell all my creative team, hey, let's in the boutique, take more pictures like this with this pink background, uh, this lifestyle photo. But what I can do is go here, go ahead and click edit. I can go to share Facebook posts with comments and then it will pull up here. I can click on this right here, grab that post URL, go back to ads manager, create, create a different ad set. Go ahead and turn that one off. All right, so everything else is gonna be the same after you've quick duplicated it. Make sure that uh, you relabel or however, but the main thing here to actually scale this is I'm going to get rid of this DCT and take it off. Go to the ad level and I'll have an individual ad. I'm going to get rid of all the media and then I'm going to choose create ad, use existing post, then enter this post ID, hit submit. Okay, so one thing about the use existing post that I did was I grabbed an ad that was actually off. Now you have to make sure that the ad is on. And one way that you can do this, you can always enter the post ID, uh, which has become a little bit more complicated. We may have to uh, do another video on exactly how to do that, but, but I think the best way for you to do this uh, right now is to go ahead and click in here, go to add posts, and I know that there was a TikTok video of her dancing right here. We've got lots of Valentines, but let's see. I think it was the actual social proof one that we had here. Let's see. I'm going to go back. This posted on January 10th. Lots of Valentine's Day options. January 10th. There we go. We got, okay. So 97 likes, eight comments, four shares. Click this one, hit continue. And that's all we need. So now I'm going to keep all the social proof and I'll be able to run this as an actual ad. Make sure you, the ad set is correct and then you would hit publish. So what you're doing technically is taking what worked in the dynamic creative, grabbing that individual post ID because it creates an individual ad for each one of them. Grab that post ID, put it into its own ad set, scale it as long as you can. This is for Valentine's Day, so it's gonna end very soon, but you could use it for a whole collection for a whole category. That's exactly how you do it there. If you have any questions, drop them down below. All right, so if you're wondering how to add more profit into your clothing store, make sure that you go watch this video right here next. All right, you all have a great rest of your day and we'll see you next time.